In this video, we'll be going over the longest substring without repeating characters. So given a string s, find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. In our first example, we have a, b, c, a, b, c, and b, and b. And our longest substring is a, b, c. So we output 3. In this case, uh, we have b, 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 b. And then the longest substring with only the unique character is b. So the return 1. Now let's go over a dot process. So we can implement a sliding window approach. We can keep track of our current left and right boundaries of our current window. Then for each of the new character C, if C is already inside our current window, we can shrink our window to remove C before adding C to our window. We will want to pick the window with the with the longest length. Now we will need a quick way. We need a quick way to determine if the current character is inside our window. We can create a hash set to keep track of the current characters inside our window. Then for each of the character C, we can check if C is inside the hash set. Now let's go over a pseudocode. So we're going to create a hash set scene to keep track of the characters in our window. And then when we create a variable i to be our left boundary, so initially 0 and max. And when we create a variable max to keep track of the longest window. And I'm going to iterate through the indices from 0 to n of, n of the string. That's the length minus 1. So we denote it as j. This is our current left boundary. Our, our current left boundary, uh, the right boundary of our window. And then we're going to retrieve the character c at index j. And then while c contains c, that means c is already inside a window. So we want to shrink our window. And then remove the character d that is located at index i from the set, from the scene, from scene. Then we're going to increment i. That's, this is shrinking our window. And then we're going to add c to scene. And then we're going to update max if the current window is greater or longer. Update max is j minus i plus 1. That's the number of elements in our current window. And we return max. Now let's go over the time and space complexity. So the time complexity is go to O of n, where n is the length of the input string. O of n because sliding window. Visit each element at most twice. Our space complexity is O of k where k is the number of unique characters. And that's our scene set. Scene set. Now let's go over the code. So we're going to create our set to keep track of the current characters in our window. Then we're going to create a variable to keep track of our left boundary and also the longest length. And we're going to iterate through for our right boundary. And then the current character at the current index. Choose the current character at the current index at j. And then while the current window contains the current character, we want to remove the character that's currently on the left side to shrink our window. 
seeing that remove as the char at i and then increments i. Then we're going to add the current character to our window and we're going to update max if the current window is longer. And then return max. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.